Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Pemhead. Today I wanted to give you a little cloth diaper update. I felt like I was due for one. So I'm just gonna go through everything in no particular order. I'm not super organized today. Theo will be 10 months old by the time this video goes out. And at the moment our go-to is the pad fold inside of a diaper cover. Size wise, he is still on the size one diaper cover and we use the size small pre-fold as a pad fold inside of the cover. If we do any sort of fold that requires snappies, we have to use the size medium on him just to get it big enough to go around his center, but the size small is perfect for the pad folds. So I quickly wanna show you how we've done diapers. Currently, this is all we use. We just have a pre-fold and a diaper cover. This is waterproof. All the good stuff i really like the thirsties ones so it's super simple watch closely so the pre-folds we will see have two lines so this has like you know four layers and this has eight and this has four whatever so i fold the thinner layers on top of the big ones like that like a hot dog fold then i flip it over and then i don't have any liners with me but if i did i would just put that right here and then you take your diaper cover and I find the easiest way to do this is to line, you know, one side of it just below the elastic band. Here, I'll zoom you in. Line one edge of it up with the elastic band. And then I put my hand there and I pull this forward and then it just kind of like sits in there like that. Okay, so my camera just died, of course, so I'm gonna film on my phone so I can finish. So this is how I do it. And then you just put the little butt right here and then you flip it over, snap, snap, super easy. So the jelly fold, I don't have an example. My water bottle can be my baby. So you lay them down like this. Their belly button would be like right here. And so the jelly roll is you put, put their butt down when they're sweet little baby and they can't roll around, they just lay there, which is great. And then I grab from the center and you can do one at a time or two at a time. You get good and you can do two at a time. You just roll it in until it's between their legs like that okay and then you fold this up over your water bottle baby and then you fan the sides out hold right here fan the back sides out get one snap it fan the other side out snap it and then you snap oh, oh i just broke my snappy snap it down there <laughs> good thing it comes in a three pack and that's your, that actually looks really good. <laughs> and then once that's on, you take your diaper cover, lift your baby's butt up, slide that underneath, lift it up over, and then you snap it. It's a white baby. And then you want to make sure, it's kind of hard to see because my water bottle doesn't have legs, but you want to make sure that these little leg gussets, that none of this is poking out. So you just want to like tuck tuck it in, look behind them, make sure there's nothing poking out back here. And then your little water bottle baby is ready to go. I also use my little DIY fleece liners at night to wick the moisture away from his body. And I've been using those more and more during the day as well, because now that he's mobile and crawling, he's starting to get these inner thigh rashes from just, I think it's the wetness and the diaper just rubbing against as he's scurrying around the house. So I do use the fleece liners during the day because he's so super mobile and his little rashes get so red. Because of this, I try to change his diaper more frequently. I've always changed it during every feed, but now I try to change it every two, max three hours because I think it's the wet diaper that's causing that rash. At the moment, I find that like every 10 to 14 days, his little thigh rash will get bad. It kind of comes and goes, but if it gets super bad and just looks really red and raw, I will just put him in disposables for a day and that clears it right up. And I know that's not the best thing, but I'm trying to figure out like how to prevent it happening in cloth. His little legs just look so raw and bad and even just putting like diaper cream and everything. So if you guys have any recommendations for the inner thigh rash from them crawling, let me know down below. I would prefer not to use disposables, but I find that when it gets really, really bad, the best thing to do is just to put them in disposables for a bit and it clears up. I use cloth wipes and an at-home wipe spray, which I'm gonna insert a clip of me making to share the recipe with you. It's worked out really well. I just wet the cloth wipes under the faucet and then I spray them with the wipe spray and that does a really good job of keeping them clean. So it says half a cup of distilled water, but I kind of have a 
full cup in there. So the only ingredients you need are distilled water, Dr. Bronner's like baby Castile soap, coconut oil, like liquid coconut oil, um, and then tea tree oil, and then some sort of like scented oil. I like lemon, but I also have peppermint that works well. So you want a teaspoon and a half of Castile soap. Once again, I only measure it. Please don't knock that over. And then a teaspoon and a half of fractioned coconut oil. Please don't touch my camera. And then you want 10 to 20 drops of both tea tree and whatever scented one you get. So I'm gonna do 10 of these. 10 ish. And then. Six, seven, eight, ten of lemon. Lemon is probably my favorite. And that's literally all you do. And then you just, before you spray your wipe, you just shake this up. And it smells really good. It smells like lemon. Okay, the laundry routine. I still do a load every other day. I've tweaked it a little bit. And so where I'm currently at is I'll take them and I'll put all the dirty diapers, the prefolds, the wipes, the covers, the pail liner into the wash and I'll do a rinse spin cycle to just get the initial stuff off. I should say that now that he's eating solids and everything, I have a diaper sprayer so I spray any poop off or I like shake it flick it into the toilet. So no poop goes into the washing machine. But that initial rinse spin is just to get like the first layer of stuff off. And then I will do, on my particular machine, I will do a normal cycle. I will do hot water heavy soil, and like a medium spin. And that's the first wash. And then the second one I'll do was also a normal one, hot water, heavy soil, high spin, and an extra rinse. And then I separate the diaper covers and the pail liner and I hang dry those and I put everything else into the dryer. Oh, I forgot to mention another thing I've started doing is bulking up the diaper load. Since I do diapers every other day, it's not like a full laundry load, if that makes sense. So I try to throw in any towels or rags to like bulk up the load a bit because I guess that helps with the agitation of it. Since he doesn't stain his diapers anymore, I don't sun bleach them, but last, yeah, last summer, <laughs> it's not more than a year old, Victoria. Last summer when he had the newborn poops and they're very runny, they were very yellow, they just stained the prefolds yellow, which isn't the end of the world because they're diapers. But I found that popping them out in the sun was a great way to uh, sun bleach the stains out and it works so well. So essentially how I did that was I went through the normal like wash routine and instead of taking the prefolds and putting them into the dryer, I would dry them out in the sun. So I have them all laid out with the poopy sides for the sun. I don't have that many. But I'm gonna take my spray bottle and I'm just gonna spray the yellow spots with some more water. You can even do covers that kind of have a little bit of yellowing on the line. I put the bad ones up top. And then you just set a timer for 15 to 30 minutes and you come back out and you check on them and see if they need more time. Yeah, I will link my other cloth diaper updates down below as well as like the products we use and everything. But still so far, like I've really, really enjoyed the pre-folds and diaper covers. Several months ago, Grovia sent me some of their cloth diapers. They sent me pre-folds and the covers, but Theo's not big enough to fit in those yet. So I'm waiting to add those into my collection, but that will be nice because when he sizes up into the size two covers, I only have five of those and I have seven of them now in the size one. I will have, I think they sent me four, so I'll have four more. Um, so that's about nine. Still really enjoying cloth diapers. They're working really well. The only complaint is that thigh rash. I did deal with a little bit of like ammonia smell for a while before I tweaked my laundry routine. I'm also going to be switching detergents from seventh generations free and clear, just normal detergent, the powder one, to the liquid ultra power plus. Just from what I've read, it seems that 
the normal free and clear isn't tough enough to use on cloth diapers. So that's a change I'm gonna be making obviously after filming this video, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions about the thigh rash, let me know down below. If you have any specific questions about anything I've talked about, let me know down below. I'll link what I use and other diaper videos that I've made. But I highly suggest cloth diapering if you're thinking about it. It's worked really, really well for us. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!